Hello beautiful people! Today I am going to show you a nifty way to organize your nail polish collection in a way that stays organized and also allows you to see what you have, easily get what you need, and probably is a better way to care for the polish itself. I'm Papa Schultz, the host of this YouTube channel, a place where I provide inspiration and information on how to create a life you love every single day. After giving you some context around this project, I'm gonna do it with you, so stick around to the end if you wanna find out just how many bottles of nail polish I have. It may shock you. Generally speaking, I do not collect things. I like to have a clean, organized, somewhat minimal environment, and collections are basically the antithesis of this concept. However, I do have a couple of exceptions and nail polish is one of them. The funny thing about this too is that as a kid, I never wanted my nails painted, not fingers, not toes, no color at all. In fact, it wasn't until mid high school that I got accustomed to a non-threatening light pink on my toes. The color was something like what I'm wearing on my fingers right now. Now, I've done a 180 and I struggle to walk out of Marshalls without at least one bottle of OPI or SE nail polish. Because of this little spending habit, I have acquired quite a few bottles of nail polish over the past few years and again, I will reveal that number at the very end of the video. If you've enjoyed this conversation so far, go ahead and click this playlist right here for more conversational and story related content. Now, let me go ahead and show you how I've been organizing my nail polish up until now. When I started collecting nail polish, I used one of these baskets and quickly outgrew and transferred into this basket, but there have been some problems with this method of storing. First of all, the basket's really heavy. Transporting it at any moment with this open top, everything could just spill out and I am terrified of all my nail polish bottles going everywhere or one breaking and splattering and staining. There's just a recipe for disaster. Also, no matter how much I try to sort them in color order, inevitably they end up getting all mixed up and when that happens, some of them stay upright and then others end up on their side and it just, I'm guessing that's not a great way to store the nail polish as far as it's settling and being in all different ways. I don't know a lot about that part of it. I'm just sort of making my own guess here. And obviously I can't see the colors that I want and especially if they're upright, put all this stuff in the top, when they're upright, I can't see the colors too well because I'm looking at all the black tops. I mean, I know that's a detail because sort of I, I can see, but it's not the same as being able to see the side of a bottle. I was just doing the best I could. I really didn't know a better way of storing these besides the way nail salons put them on those shelves on the wall, but I didn't really want my nail polish to be my wall decor. So I was so pumped when my mom discovered nail polish organizers on Amazon and I saw her use these with her own nail polish collection and I decided that it would be worth the investment. It is not a cheap product, but considering all of the pain points I have that this solves, I decided it would be worth it and it's probably going to be a better way to store the polish, like I said, in taking care of the actual item, which this is a lot of money in nail polish, so I think that this is worth it. I spent about $23 on it, but it was on sale from $30 and I got two. Again, I'm going to tell you how many bottles that I have at the end. I actually don't even know because I haven't, I forgot how many when I counted to know how many to buy, but stick around if you want to find out just how many bottles of nail polish I have. By the way, I will link up this revolutionary organizer in the description below. And now let's talk about how to make the transfer. A pre-step would be go ahead and count the number of nail polish bottles you have so that you know whether you need one container or two because obviously they have a max capacity. So you don't want to end up with overflow and have to resort to this original option yet again. After counting the number of nail polish bottles I had so that I knew how many organizers to order, I ordered the organizers, waited for them to come in, and then I went ahead and laid out all of the nail polish bottles on my bed and sorted them by color. Then I transferred the nail polishes in this color order into the slots of my organizer. I also ordered two nail polish organizers so that I would have enough 
extra empty slots to not worry about resorting back to my basket method of organizing as I acquired more nail polish colors for my collection. Once I finished filling my organizers, I found a nice spot in the bathroom where I could store them and put them away. Now when I want to give myself a manicure, I can just pull my organizer out, look at the color selection, choose the one I want, and put it back when I'm finished without having to worry about messing up the rest of the organization. The ability to see my collection every time I go to paint my nails reminds me of what all I have so that when I'm in the store and see a cool color, I know whether I already have something similar or not. And this has been a big problem with the pinks. You can tell there are certain shades I forgot that I owned something similar when I was at the store and saw it. But hopefully now I won't be in the moment wondering if I have it and this will save me from wasting money on extra extremely similar colors. I will link these up in the description below, a little bit more information about them and a hint about how many I have, but again, I'll tell you at the end, is that each one has the capacity of 48 regular sized bottles. So these hold a lot and they have handles, which is really great. And just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. I am genuinely just blown away by the simplicity and geniusness of this kind of organizer. This is by far the coolest way I have ever seen to organize nail polish, but if you have any other ideas or tips or tricks, please comment below because I'm always open to new ideas. And if you have any ideas on other beauty products and how we can store those, please comment that as well. If you wanna participate in the conversation, but you don't have much to say, you can uh, comment the word polish. <laughs> Before I reveal the number of nail polish bottles in my organizers, I wanna just make two little requests in exchange. First, go ahead and like this video because you're here and I like that you made it this far. So here's my thumbs up to you. Give me a thumbs up right down here. Also, since you are still here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. So that way you'll be around when the other videos come out like this. And if you really like organization videos, please just go ahead and let me know and I can give you some more insight into the organization I have here. Or of course, as always, I am open to all and any video requests you have and I'll take it into consideration. I promised to tell you how many nail polish I have and I'm so embarrassed. I really enjoy having a versatility of colors I can use to express my personality and my mood at any given moment. And the total number of bottles, which includes base coats and any nail strengthener, all my colors, even a bottle of oil for nails and cuticles, there are 72 bottles between these two organizers. There, I said it, you got it! But before you go, I want to give you one more invitation, which is that if you like this kind of lifestyle content that you're seeing here on my YouTube channel, I wanna invite you to follow me on Instagram where I post daily stories with more inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!